Squadron 52 and today we've got a little parcel here so let's have a look okay guys so let's have a little look see what's inside oh nice so this is my mystery deck that I've been waiting for for the last three weeks maybe four weeks Oh, so it comes with a nice art of play. You can see where the wax seal has been impressed into it. So an art of play sticker there, and uh, the elephant illusion. How many legs does the elephant have? Four, six, four, six, four, six, something on that. Mystery deck. Okay, so I'm really excited to open these, but I've got to wait until my partner comes home because she bought this for me and she wants to see what deck's inside. While we wait, I'm just going to talk a couple of features on the outside of the deck. So this packaging is presented so beautifully. So it's got a very, it's got a very holly, uh, Christmassy feel to it, which is nice because obviously it's coming in the lead up to Christmas. That's when they release them. Um, it's got a few like art of play little bits in there. So it's got like a yo-yo with the symbol on there. Like um, it's got Rubik's cube and puzzled card pieces. So everything that symbolizes art of play. Um, it's got this lovely golden bronze wax uh, seal on the front, and that's beautiful with the art and art of play logo in the center. Um, I just think that's a lovely little touch. You might notice. <clears throat> that my voice is a little bit croaky today. That's because I worked through the night last night and I've had about two hours sleep. So the house is empty, so I've got time to do some YouTube in. So, um, and the, uh, the art play deck turned up as well. So I'm really I'm so looking forward to looking uh, and see what's inside here. And hence why coffee is a feature of today's video. Mm. Oh, I need that. Okay, so she's running late, so we're just going to get straight back into it and open this deck. So, um, obviously, I don't know what's inside, so this will be a surprise for both of us. I don't know what to do with it. Um, I'll stick it in my notebook. Oh, I'll leave that for later. Right, here we go. So, we have got... Let me show the camera first. We have got... Oh, Seekers! Very nice. Okay, so inside uh, the packaging, we've got this... Um, Lovely, like, type font. It's almost like calligraphy. Epiphanies await the curious mind. Okay, so according to the Art Play website, Seekers tells the story of two parallel worlds and the ongoing struggle for victory before our light is extinguished. Pretty dramatic. Um, represented by the torch of uh, the torch on the ace of spades on the front of the pack. Whether you seek adventure, fame, mastery, or love, we encourage you to play fair, take risks, and bet big for winning hand is just anti away now we've got the playing cards let's get into s goodwin 52 deck review one thing i am gonna add though why do they make it so hard to get into the playing cards so let's see if these are and this is real time either i'm an idiot or i can't get into playing cards we're coming up to 30 seconds now oh I just want to peel it off. Why do I make it so hard? Oh, they've put it right on the edge. Here. Is that... Where's the little... I don't want to damage the cards. Is that the... It can't, it can't just be me that struggles getting into playing cards. Oh, okay, we're in. We are... Right, we are in. I'm gonna tidy that up later. Okay, so these cards are beautiful. So they are printed on the tuck. There's a slight embossing around the uh, ace of spades. Um, the stamp's quite nice. So it's uh, um, 2017. Um, and it's got like a nice little corrugated bit. So you should be able to just push it in. What I tend to do is use my bank card. And a lot, a lot of people out there are now gonna be looking at this going, oh my God, like, he is ruining the seal, blah, blah, blah. I don't care about seals. I don't care about the deck. Oh, okay, so inside, it's got this lovely polka dot gold. It looks like foil. It looks like foil. And we'll slide the deck out. Uh, There's nothing surprising in there. Okay, so we've got... Oh, wow, this is quite cool. Right, so the back design is similar to the back of the box. But there we go. So we've got two circle rings in the center. Um, and of those circle rings, there is the Eye of Providence. That's it, the Eye of Providence. Uh, and for any of you that don't know the Eye of Providence, the Eye of Providence, you'll probably most recognize it from uh, the dollar bill. It's the pyramid. You've got the eye inside of a triangle on the top. It's normally the symbol for the Illuminati. Um, and it's meant to be an all-seeing eye that uh, 
surrounded by rays of light and glory. It represents the eye of God watching over humanity. But for Art of Play, they're saying it symbolizes our connection with greater power, which kind of makes sense. It's called Seekers because it's the light and the darkness. So let's just have a look. So it's USB to C stock. Ooh, straight off the bat, not too bad in spring. Not too bad. Let's see if we can get Anaconda and keep it in new deck order. Oh, not bad, not bad, nearly, nearly not. Okay, so this deck isn't stacked. It's in new deck order. Right, so it comes with an ad card. It comes with a another ad card that almost could have probably been a double that, uh, backer, but you could probably make out of the two ad cards, but has this really nice illustrated um, design card. The Ace of Spades features, uh, it's sort of like made up of a torch. Okay, and then, um, so in the court cards, the red cards have the sort of like the characters are the dead and then the black cards are characters of the living the juxtaposition between uh, the two there the cards themselves have their custom pips normally I, i'm not a big fan of custom pips the only one i really do like quite a lot is the green wheels because obviously that's a whole entire custom design deck um but these are these are usable you could use these in magic yeah you could use them quite well actually there's not an issue only concern is that the ace of hearts is quite a small heart. I think the hearts are the only ones I'm not too keen on. The 10's got a cross in all of them. But yeah, no, these are quite a cool, cool concept deck. Let's just double check. Uh, I believe it is a yep, two-way design. Sometimes when you've got an obvious one-way back design like the bicycle unicorns, it can be really problematic when you're trying to do a trick that involves a double and as you take the card away, the unicorn on the back is suddenly the other way around. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go set the camera up upstairs into my performing area, um, which is, nice little tip for everyone, it's my hallway. <laughs> Landing, because <laughs> it has a big ass window, it has a lot of light coming through. Here's an interesting behind the scenes for you. So I use my like, tiny tripod and I connect it to the handle on, um, yeah, on the window and it is the right height for filming magic tricks. From about here to uh, to waist height, which is perfect if you don't like getting your face in there. But anyway, uh, let's get to it. this video i hope you enjoyed the uh, unboxing of the mystery deck and i hope you enjoyed the little b-roll of the seekers and what they're like as a deck and um, if you enjoyed this video or any of my other videos make sure you hit like hit subscribe as well follow me on instagram where i'll be uploading pictures pretty much three times a week and some videos of little magic clips and yeah stick around for the next one we've got some exciting stuff happening coming up soon stay tuned